Hello to RVC students. I'm Yasmin and I'm a peer mentor at Rock Valley College and the TA for Professor Zika. In this video, I will be going through how to use a site that is very important, necessary, and useful to you for the remainder of your time at Rock Valley, and it is RVC Student Planning. So RVC Student Planning is a tool that you can use for registering for classes, for planning your future classes, for checking your progress towards your degree, which is vital, and many other functions. If you are in ST100, you'll be using student planning to complete STAMP Part 4 and to create a virtual mapping of how you'll achieve your academic goals at RVC through it. So to access student planning, you'll have to log into online services. And we're on the RVC site here. We'll go to My RVC and we scroll down and see online services here. And then we log in. Okay, then we go to Student. And under Academic Profile here, we'll find RVC Student Planning right there. Okay, so here's the site. Okay, uh, what we're going to see here is the current semester and then our schedule for it. So these are the courses you'll see here that you're currently taking. What's in green is what you're registered for at the moment and taking. And if there are any courses in yellow, those are what are planned. So if you plan any courses for the future, you'll see them in yellow. Okay, so what we can do now is search for courses. Okay, so let's say I want to take um, English 103. Okay, so here uh, English 103 pops up, the first one. So we're going to focus on this here. There are many other English classes that come up as well. Um, so what we're going to see when we find the course is the amount of credits, the description of the course, uh, the IAI code, and IAI, for those of you who don't know, stands for Illinois Articulation Initiative, and that indicates that the course is transferable to any university in Illinois, so that's uh, very useful, especially to students who are planning to transfer to a four-year university, so you want to make sure they are IAI. Okay, And then um, down here we see the prereqs for the course. So you have to make sure that you've completed anything it indicates down here that you should complete prior to taking this course so you know that you can actually be able to enroll in it. Okay, So you have a few options. You can add this course to your plan uh, that way. And then here you're going to see a drop down and you can pick the term that you would like to plan it for. So let's say I want to take it in the session two of summer, and then we can add the course to plan that way, just like that. Okay, so it does tell me that it's already enrolled in another term, and that's because I already took it my second semester, so it's letting me know. And then it also let me know in green that it's been successfully um, planned. Okay. So then your other option is to view available sections for the course. If I do press this, it's going to show me available sections for the current semester, but we want to see, let's say we want to see uh, what's available for fall of this year. So we can actually narrow our options down here on the side with the filter box. This is very useful. Um, you can also narrow it down to only open sections so that we can ensure that we're able to enroll in them in what we see, the location, the days of the week, the instructors, uh, plenty of different options here. It's very uh, convenient. So now that we've narrowed it down to fall and open sections only, when I press uh, view available sections, I see what's available for this fall. And I can browse, see the times, days, locations, and how many seats are available too. Okay, so we can see all of that. Uh, okay, so let's say that I decide I want to enroll in this one here. We don't know the instructor yet to be announced. We do know them for deep down here. Okay, so let's add this one to my schedule. Now this is an, a specific section, so it doesn't ask me, you know, uh, it doesn't give me the option of choosing a different term to add it to because I narrowed it down to fall. So now I can just simply add it. And also there's more information on here about the course. We can add that to the section. Again, our notifications here. Okay, so now um, let's go check it out. Let's go to uh, Planning Overview, and then we can.
can go to the side here. Here you have your home and then you can also view financial information and other registration information and then academics and then your options there for your profile. So under academics, we can go to student planning. Also the course catalog, once you get there, you can check out all the courses there as well in the same way. Okay, so now under student planning, if we go to uh, plan and schedule again, in uh, this tab here, we can see the same things we saw in the uh, first one where these are my current classes. And then on the side, uh, it's the same classes. And I actually have the option of dropping them through here. Okay. Um, so let's go forward using this tab to the next term. Here's summer session one. I don't have anything planned or scheduled or registered for summer session two. Here's summer session two here. Okay, so I have English 103 planned. Okay, but I don't have the uh, specific section, so it's not going to show up here under a certain day or time of week. Then down here, it actually gives you, once you press view sections, you can see the sections available. So if I decide I want to go with this one with one seat available, I can add it here. This one's online. Okay. So if I. Hmm. Okay. Um, so here is fall of 2020. I have the same course planned. I planned that with you guys. And here we can actually see it pop up here because it is um, a lecture course. It's face to face, not online. So it occurs on Tuesday and Thursday at these times. So when you have other courses planned here too, um, you'll be able to see if there's any conflicts and you can see, you know, what's your first course for that day, second, what do you have? Basically your entire schedule, really convenient here. And then remember yellow means that it's planned, it's not registered for yet. But we do have that option right over here. Okay, you can also see the information about meeting. So you can register for the course just in this way. Okay. And now I am registered for English 103 for fall of 2020. But I don't actually want to do that. So say I changed my mind. I want to drop it. We can do that. Okay. So now that's dropped. All right. So um, that's pretty much what you can do on online services, but in addition, if you go back, let's go to um, first page, okay, you want to see your progress. If you go to uh, your progress here, you can see um, all your progress and all the courses you've taken, what you need to take, GPA, everything like that, okay? So you can continuously check that and make sure you're on track to graduate and on track with um, the courses specifically for your particular degree. Okay. All right. Um, if you find that you're unable to register for a specific course, it's it could be due to you lacking the prereqs for that course. It could also be due to the fact that that course is not um, available at the moment or available for you to register for. So it could be any of those. It could be because it's full. But um, if you have further questions, definitely contact an academic advisor. Okay. So let's go back to uh, student planning. There's also another option you have for the timeline. And you can find that right here. So next to schedule, you have timeline. It's going to be a lot of the same thing, but you can see it in a more summarized form, all the courses and anything you have under them. You can also remove your planned courses this way. Okay, just like that. You can remove them. You can see the check mark. I'm currently taking them, these courses. Then you can see your completed terms and then the grades, the amount of credits down here. Okay. And then in advising, you can actually compose a note to an advisor or find 
their email this way, okay? And don't actually want to compose an email, so we can get out of that. Right. And um, all of your information, everything that you do in here is automatically saved. So when you log out and log back in, everything will still be there. And you can edit, update them at any time, drop courses, register, plan new ones, whatever you'd like. Okay. For additional assistance with picking classes, planning your degree, or assistance with registering, definitely contact Academic Advising. And their number is 815-921-4100. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and thank you for watching.